Universe, Universe, you're here. I'm so happy you're here. I was looking all forward for you, but I couldn't find you because this, this E3 hall is just too large and in charge for me to find you. This is an energy drink that I started drinking because outside of the convention hall, they have very, very hot women handing out drinks. Who am I to choose a drink from very hot paid women? They can't, probably don't drink this themselves. Mm. Delicious. Mm. 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 Look at this, they're like walled off in some like strange white world of madness in their own little place. I'll show it to you, show it to you in a moment. This is Sony's open, you can see inside, but Nintendo's locked white box of demonic gaming pleasure. Here's the inside. You'll see, you'll see the inside. I will, I will show you in a moment, but I have things to tell you about stuff. Stuff, things, stuff. Look at all these pins, look at these pins that I got. There's six of them. Six pins. I didn't get all six because there's one for Luigi's Mansion. Every time you go into the booth and play a 3DS game, you get a pin until they run out. So me and Cody woke up really, really early this morning and went to the booths and we got, uh, we got, we got our pins. We got them. So it's, it's awesome. We got, I like it. Mmm. Mmm. Mango passion fruit. Have any of you ever actually had a passion fruit? Hey, let's talk Skyward Sword. I want to wanna say a few things about Skyward Sword. So. I want to talk about the control scheme because obviously I played the demo that they have here where you can do as Cody and me and, uh, and Lex from Zelda Informer have, have said lots of many times is, um, wow, it's dark. Uh, there are three modes in this demo. You can either do bird flying, which I haven't done and I'm going to go back and do, but you can do a dungeon which is the Sky Temple, presumably one of the first dungeons where you actually get an upgrade to the beetle. The beetle is upgradable. You start out with this really weird looking thing that doesn't have any pincers. When you upgrade, you get pincers in the sky temple, and then it can grab things and go through cobwebs and cut down sculptulas and things like that. It's like an interactive, crazy, controllable boomerang. It's actually really cool. It's actually really cool. I like it all. And I want to talk about the controls though. Now, apparently my greatest fear has come true. Oh my god, it, changed, it changes colors. Look at this epic silhouette. Point. Epic point. Okay, how did I have epically pointed? I'm talking about, still talking about the controls while on an energy drink. If you ever wonder what Jason put down an energy drink, this is what he's like on an energy drink. Talking about Skyward Sword. Oh my god. Oh my god. Anyways. So, if I talk like this, and all you saw was a silhouette the whole time. Skyward Sword controls you. Flail about. Flail about with your sword. Uh, and uh, the bad thing is, the calibration always breaks. Uh, I mean, it's like, it's not anything that can be really controlled. The calibration on the Motion Plus is horrible. Like, I'm just gonna go out and say that, that Miyamoto's bad performance of Skyward Sword last year, at E3 2010, was not a screw-up. It's like, this, I had, they had to recal, I had a 10 minute demo where I played through the dungeon, I played through the Sky Tunnel, and they had to recalibrate the Wii Remote twice during this demo. And the problem is, since all of the enemies in the game, all of the enemies in the game require you to slash a certain way, like a direction, horizontal, vertical, sometimes diagonal, or like bottom up diagonal, and it's very obvious because all of the enemies have defense stances that leave one spot annoyingly open, and it's like, you'd think they'd be smart enough to know that they're doing that, and then you can but it's a game design thing and they have to make it so you can slash. And you can only, they only ever make it so you slash either diagonal, diagonal, up and down, side. They never do complicated things. We don't know how to do that. This is the, this is the food court where nobody seems to, where some people seem to, and uh, <laughs> people are pointing, looking at me because, um, because I am talking to a phone. So yeah, I mean the enemies are fun to beat when you can slash in the right direction, but when the calibration breaks, then like you're screwed. And it's I, I fought the I fought the uh, Stalfos mini boss thing that uh, we had seen. It's the same mini boss that we saw in E3 2010, but they put it in a new room to the center of the dungeon. This big center thing in the dungeon. You flip a switch with your bow, 
then you go inside, it opens up and unlocks a door, uh, and then you go into it to fight the Stalfos, and it defends in certain ways, you gotta slash certain ways. After you beat it, you get the upgraded beetle, then you have it fly out of the hole, up, up through the roof, through a cobweb, and then you flip the switch again and you get back out. Now they teach you how to use it. But, so like I was fighting the Stalfos, and the calibration was off, so I couldn't swing my sword in the right direction to kill it, and I kept dying. And I was like, oh, maybe I'll just like switch and use an item. Excuse me, I burped. I was burped because this energy drink is so intense. Energy drinks are intense. And burp, burptastic. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What am I talking about? So I was talking about the boss. So I was so swinging my sword. I couldn't swing it. I'm like, I'll use one of the items. Maybe I'll use my beetle or something. Beetle doesn't work because it's not upgraded to hurt things. And the bow doesn't work because it doesn't defends against the bow stuff and I can't slash it, and I'm screwed. So I'm like, and also when I'm trying to switch items, apparently you can't like rotate or point the Wii Remote at the screen to get items. You gotta take your whole arm and go round in a circle to get the items and then the text and I'm blue. Da -ba -dee -da -ba -dee. Um, fix the blue. Fix the blue. Fix blue. Oh, whatever. Anyways, just wanted to talk about that. Otherwise, the game is brilliant. It looks really amazing. The graphics are phenomenal. It's probably the, my favorite style out of all the Zelda games ever. Uh, even more than Wind Waker, and I will praise Wind Waker to absolutely no end. Skyward Sword looks fantastic. The story sounds fantastic. Girahim looks creepy as heck and is poised to be one of my favorite villains in all of Zelda if they keep him that way and they don't make him a puppet for Ganon. So overall, aside from those really major gripes with the controls and mostly with mostly related to Motion Plus and is no fault of Skyward Sword, but Motion Plus faults, this game is gonna be fantastic. Plus with the news that Miyamoto and people are threatening the Zelda team under, under penalty of abolishing Zelda forever if this isn't the best Zelda game of all time, I think, I think this is going to be a good one, even though majority of this is me ranting about the controls. Really Motion Plus problems. I want to make that clear. Motion Plus problems, not Skyward Sword problems. Motion Plus, we need to fix that. <laughs> okay, anyways, peace and Triforce, I'm going to go, I'm going to go explore. I want to play more Skyward Sword. Oh, I should show you the booth. I'm just going to show you the booth. Let's we'll see the Nintendo booth. Let's go in. We are in. It's, uh, this is, welcome to the Nintendo booth. This is where you play things. Hello. Uh, Okay, tour time. This is uh, over there. Is the that's the Wu booth. Um, I want to make this very clear. I don't know if you can hear me because it's loud in here. We're calling the new console. Me and Cody had a large conversation about this. Uh, if we work together, we can give the new console a funny name. We're going to call the new console the Wu. Wu is spelled W-U-U. -U. It's like we, but with U because it's we Wu. So it's Wu. The new console is the Wu. And uh, and we're debating names for the for the controller. We're thinking Wu Mote might be okay, but that sounds kind of generic. But um, since it, since they essentially took the U draw from THQ and then pre-branded the Wii, the Wii U and gave it a U draw, we're thinking of calling it the Wu draw. That's the controller, the Wu draw. So, I don't know, your choice. Oh, wait, so else, else stops in this, in this uh, place, placeness um, is, is the Skyward Sword area. See the birds, they're birds flying on birds, giant statues flying on birds. So let's, let's go look at the birds, people. Let's go show you the birds. There's Zelda, Zelda on her bird. I'm so bad at this. Zelda on her bird. So that's, is that Link? No, that's Link. Zelda's on the blue. You can't really see her. There she is. So let's, let's get a better angle. Better. There you go. Zelda on a bird. Skyward Sword logos of people playing Skyward Sword. This is where I played. And the lady, the lady, the booth people don't know anything about the game. They're just booth people. So, um, now that you see, wow, the lighting just changes. Oh my god. This place is so trippy when you stay in here for too long. And there's like 80 bajillion people using Street Pass. It's the only place where Street Pass is used. Anyways, this is the longest Zelda vlog that I've ever done. It's absolutely outrageously long. So now that now that you've experienced this, and I'm and I'm fighting my way through gobs of people, now that you've experienced E3 the way that I have, almost exactly the way I had, this is the most realistic thing you've ever done. Um, I'm gonna go and see you on the other side of the place. That was tense. That was intense. Okay. Peace and tribe. Peace. If you like this video, like it, subscribe to the world favorite, and then comment about. 
everything I just said about the opinions about all Skyward Sword thingamajiggers that have happened all over the times that we did this and I'm talking too fast and I didn't drink.